we are finally making my bridesmaids cups. So I'm gonna make customized cups for them. As you can hear my Cricut over here is going to work cutting out the name labels for the mugs, which by the way, if you weren't around when I kind of talked about these in a previous video, I got them at Big Five. Don't worry, I didn't spend 20 bucks on them, but I was really searching high and low to find some really great quality uh, cups that would be like well-rounded. I wanted a straw and I did want them to be like this pretty blush color. And I cannot believe I, I stumbled across this deal. It's even like got the whole six hours hot, 12 hours cold kind of deal. They were on sale at Big Five. I drove around to like four different locations, mind you. And they were on sale for like eight bucks, if I'm not mistaken. And then I had a 20% off coupon. So I bought as many of the blush ones as I possibly could. I also got a white one for me. I got a gray one for Anthony to make like a junior groomsman. And then I got a teal one because teal is like a mint color for Sophia because she loves that color. And I knew she wouldn't walk around with a pink water bottle. So, and I wanted her to feel a little bit different than everybody else's. So that's what I'm doing right now. I did get a specific type of vinyl for this one. So I'll show you when I go out here and I got a different one for Anthony. So let's go look at that real quick. And then for Anthony's, I didn't think he would appreciate this glittery shade. And so I found this one, it said it was like etched or something like that. It was a frosted type of color and in picture it looks like etched glass. So I thought he would like something like that. Um, again, his is going to be more of a deep gray. And again, Sophia's is like, a minty shade and then mine is the white so i'm gonna wipe these down with some alcohol while the cricket finishes cutting and we'll get started so we're watching the super bowl and i'm over here doing this look at how good they're turning out looks so good i ended up going to the store and having to get the strong grip transfer tape and it's working so 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 much better Oh my gosh, the cups are done and they are perfect. I am so excited to show you the final product. Check it out. I also have these ones here for my mom, Logan's mom. I have one for Anthony. And then Sophia's, hers got bubbled up a little bit. Hers is the only one that's giving me trouble. So I might have to peel this up and do hers again. Um, if I can figure that out. And her junior was such a pain in the butt to do. But so overall, I am so beyond happy with these and how they turned out. They are so perfect. I have their boxes set up over here. I'm going to finish them up today. I don't think I've gone through this with you just yet. So if I haven't, I'll kind of go through real quick. Um, I have their names in each one. I have these little trays that I ordered online from Target. They were a couple of bucks and I just thought they were so perfect. There's a little lining of pink and they were just a couple bucks. The stuffing, I did get some from Michael's but I didn't even end up opening it. I started saving a couple months ago um, in just like a big uh, Walmart bag or something like that. All the stuffing from like my FabFitFun boxes or any of the PR boxes I was receiving. And then this is like a little bath bomb. And then we have like the little scents sachet from Kirkland's. And then I got these t-shirts on clearance from Kohl's last year. So I've had these for like over a year and I pretty much just got them all in a size large. Um, just so they were oversized and you know, I'd rather have something a little bit big than too small for someone. So I think I'm going to put this on this side and then the bottle. I don't know. I have to kind of play with it a little bit, but each box is set up the same. It's got a little hair tie in it too. I need to order the proposal cards that I designed on PicMonkey to put in the boxes is like a, Hey, will you be my bridesmaid or my maid of honor or anything like that? I have ones for the moms too. Um, I think I want to make them a t-shirt, but I think I'll do that down the road. I think I just want to give them the little dish and the water bottle. Uh, yeah, this is where we're at right now. Oh, and again, if I didn't mention, these are just like photo boxes that I got like two bucks at Michael's. And I just love the design. It goes perfectly with the vibe that we're going for with the wedding. And I just thought it would be a cute little keepsake. Maybe they have a little memory box or they could do whatever they want with it. 
moving forward. But the one thing I really wanted was proposal cards. So I went on to PicMonkey and I downloaded some different uh, graphics from Hungry JPEG. I'll leave links to what I'm talking about in the description box down below. And then I went on to PicMonkey and I designed my own little cards and it says, will you be my bridesmaid? And since I made boxes for like my future mother-in-law and my mom, uh, oh, here's the, will you be my maid of honor? And then thank you for always loving me is for my mom. And then I have one for thank you for raising the man of my dreams. I thought that was cute. And then will you be my junior bridesmaid for Sophia so she can feel included. I'm going to finish cutting these up and putting the boxes together. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Thanks, Michelle. Yes, we'll be your bridesmaids. Yes. <laughs> What I'm working on here today are the groomsmen gifts. I got these little boxes off of Amazon. I'll link to them down below. And the top piece comes off. I just wanted to show you like what it looked like all together. I'm going to stain them, fill them with like crinkled cardboardy crinkle paper. And we got cigars for the guys from Total Wine. We got some really nice ones and we're gonna put those on here. And then on Amazon, I ordered little cigar trimmers. So that's gonna go on this side, cigar or maybe cigar. And then on the top, once this dries and is finished being stained and all that, I'm going to use my Cricut to cut out, I think maybe their last name or maybe their first name. I'm not sure, but I wanna use like a gold paint or gold vinyl and I want to put their name or some sort of decal on the top but I thought that was a really clever like groomsman gift and Logan came up with the cigar idea I just came up with like the execution side of it boxes are drying and turning out good the color looks so good oh it's funny how it looks kind of darker on some maybe it's just the angle but I used the Jacobean shade for this and I even like dipped them in the, the container at some points just to make sure I was getting like the inner corners this like lip right here was being a pain in the butt so I just kind of <laughs> I cheated and dipped them in boxes are all stained I used my Cricut to cut out the guys names with a little arrow and then the date I also ordered these little cigar clippers off of Amazon it was a pack of four for like five bucks so each box will have some of the little crinkle paper, one of the cigar cutters, and then a cigar on top. I think I only put a cigar in here for now just for looks, just to kind of show you what the finished little gift would be. But I actually need to put these back in the little humidor bag that I got from Amazon. So I'll link to that down below too, because we don't have like a legit humidor. So I need these to stay like moist or I don't, I don't know all the details but I know that you're supposed to have them in a specific like environmentally like a little environment for them so that they stay nice so I'm going to finish pulling these up this is so easy if you don't have a Cricut or you're thinking about getting one here let me see if I could do this one one-handed this one's already pulled up and I did use spray paint for the gold because I wanted it to be very metallic looking i'm just gonna pull up all the pieces and i'll take out all the middles here and it'll look like these but i'm really proud of them i'm really excited with how they're coming out and next i want to show you what i was doing for the girls and my bridesmaids and all done i think they look so good just simple classy and a nice little gift to give the guys Okay, so now let's talk about my bridesmaids gifts. So we'll start with the bachelorette weekend. There's only three of us going to that. So I got us all matching pajamas. They are unbelievably soft. They're from like the Gloria Vanderbilt line. This is mine. I just got it in a 1X. I got everybody a size up just so they were big and comfy and loose and not constricting. And then I ordered a couple packs of my favorite eye masks. You've heard me talk about these a million and a half times. They're like 3D so they don't touch your eyes. And then I use my Cricut to cut out this iron-on lash design. And I put that on the eye mask. And I did that for each of the girls. And I'm just gonna keep them in the original bags for now. I'm not gonna do anything fancy for the Bachelorette weekend. Gifts, I'm just gonna kinda like give the girls that as is. I, I don't know, maybe I'll end up going to the dollar store and getting a gift bag, but probably not just because I haven't really been going out in public at the moment now for the day of 
I ordered a big pack. There's like a whole bunch of them back here of these canvas bags with little handles and they're pretty big. I'm going to design some sort of logo, maybe something with flowers. So I'm thinking like a floral little wreath, the date down here, and then their like first initial right here. I don't know, you let me know what you think. Inside of these day of bags, everybody is going to get, even the moms, I ordered from Cheyenne these like silky pink robes. They're the long ones. I'm not gonna take them out of the bag because they're like perfectly wrapped up in here and I'm just gonna keep them in here to be dust free. But they're like a soft, dusty pink which if you have noticed that's kind of my thing and i'm so excited that everybody is going to have a robe even sophia they're going to get a bag and it's going to be a wonderful day hi sweetheart hey shelly hi shelly we hope you have a wonderful day i'm sure you're gonna look beautiful we wish we could be there with you love you always sweetheart congratulations love you bye I almost forgot to show you these so also for day of and they'll probably be in their bag or I may give them these gifts at the rehearsal dinner because it's going to be for my mom his mom and my daughter Sophia so for the moms I got them matching opal necklaces it's called I think it's called in a flutter by Kate Spade and I just absolutely fell in love with this design it's very simple I like the gold it's got a little opal inlay and I'm kind of sad that I didn't buy myself one because I love them so much. But for Sophia, I didn't think she'd be into the necklace and I wanted something special for the moms. So I got her these super dainty, like 14 karat gold dipped, or I guess they're plated, little butterfly earrings. And I just thought she would absolutely love them because she doesn't like things that are like big and gaudy. I also got her this sparkly little dainty bracelet off of Amazon's just so she had a couple of pretty pieces of jewelry to wear that day so as you see I have like a little label on there and yeah that is all of the gifts right now oh and I don't want to forget to show you that I made Sophia one too even though she won't be there at the bachelorette weekend I wanted her to feel special and like she had like a little something something to match us and the pajamas wouldn't fit her obviously they were women's and her favorite color is mint so I put some lashes on her little mask